we all have to fight our inner demons. But I believe there's grace within those battles. When I was younger, I was a troublemaker. I got into more fights than I can even remember. I didn't have direction back then, so I just drifted. Art changed me. My dad taught me how to draw. He inspired me to create. And when I gave myself up to it, something shifted inside me. Whether on paper or a human body, I knew creating art would take me out of my rut. It wasn't an easy ride though. I had to put so much energy into my work, pushing myself further every day and testing my limits. It wasn't without sacrifices. My mentor was there to encourage me. I will always be grateful for the support through the hard times. Even when I couldn't see clearly, I was set on the right path. The disorder, violence, and rebellion of my youth was not channeled into art. From then, that negativity was working in my favor. There are still distractions and times where I can feel myself unravel. But I try and focus on myself and not let others put me down. Keep me from what sustains me. Each and every action counts. There are consequences and I've learned that over the years. Now, I just want to get people excited about my designs. To build intimacy and trust with my supporters and stay true to my style. For me, the best way to handle my past is art. I channel my inner demons in dark moments through my visualizations. All the fights and all the trouble, something I got rid of. There is no space for this energy left, and I don't let my demons take over my body again. You don't have to lose yourself to be successful. You don't have to blank out your past and become a new person. Take the pain and make it work to your advantage.